Welcome to a new series called Celeste Tech Tutorials. Now, this is going to be a separate series from Garbage Gaming, even though it's on the same channel, that will just be me alone taking you through the Celeste techniques and mechanics. My main goals of this series that I want to accomplish are to first, obviously, teach you guys some basic as well as difficult tech. I'll be covering the lobbies in Strawberry Jam because it has some references I can use in the gyms. But most importantly, I want to show you guys some easy ways slash like tips and tricks on how to actually perform these techniques. Today we're going to be starting with the basics. So like I said, we'll be mainly focusing the series on the Strawberry Jam collab because it has some really great demonstrations and information on tech for each lobby. So if you have Strawberry Jam collab or you're planning on playing it, I personally would highly recommend going to the gyms because they can really help in guiding you. Now, the beginner lobby can be played without having beaten the base game, but it is kind of assumed that you've cleared like chapter 1 to chapter 7 in the beginner lobby. The next lobbies after beginner lobby will focus more on the later tech that you'll see in chapters 8 and 9 and the b-sides and d-sides. Some of the tech today that we'll be covering is actually in the base game that appears in the earlier b-sides, thus you might not have seen these yet. So first let's start with dream jumps. Now this is one tech that's actually in the base game. I believe it's in the B side of old sight. Now as you can probably guess, a dream jump is simply when you press jump while exiting a dream block. These are fairly simple and straightforward to do. Just make sure you're jumping as you exit the dream block. If you find that you've failed and you just fall out of the block, you've either jumped too early or too late. So here I'll show you what the rest of the gym section on dream jumps looks like to give you an idea of how they work. Now next up let's talk about dream grabs. As the name kind of implies, it's when you dash into a dream block and then grab the other side of the dream block when you exit. Now the tip here would be to turn around while you're inside of the dream block so that when you appear on the outside, you'll be facing the direction that you'll need to be facing to be grabbing on to the dream block. So basically just the opposite direction of whichever way that you dashed into it. Do note though that obviously if it has spikes on the other side, you won't be able to grab. Now again, I'll just show you the rest of the gym section so that you have a better idea on dream grabs. Now that we're done with all the dream block tech of beginner lobby, let's move on to some other tech. So next we're going to do some cloud jumps. Now cloud jumps were actually in the base game in chapter 4, so a lot of people have probably already seen these clouds and get a general idea of how they work. One thing though that I find that a lot of people get confused about is actually how you get the full boost of a cloud block. You get the full boost of a cloud block when you jump at the peak of the clouds sort of movement because it moves up and down. When Madeline first jumps on it, it'll move down and then move back up to sort of balance out Madeline's added weight. If you jump at the lowest point of the cloud, then you'll get the lowest possible jump. It's also important noting that if you immediately jump off of a cloud and then jump again when the cloud's at its peak, you will still get the big maximum jump without actually having to swing yourself up. Now one thing that's important to remember is that the regular cloud does not disappear, whereas pink clouds do disappear. Pink clouds will disappear after you jump on them, and the white clouds will not disappear at all. Now like I mentioned before, you can jump immediately after touching a cloud block. This will give you the lowest possible jump, which is important especially later in the game, because they will have jumps where you will have to do an instant jump off the cloud before you get a boost so you don't jump into the spikes. Now the last tech we're going to go over in this episode are Theo Basics. If you played Base Celeste, then you should have a general idea of how Theo works because he is in Chapter 5. One thing I'll say right away is that there's technically two types of holdables, one light, one heavy. Theo is a heavy holdable. 
a lot of, especially in strawberry jam, you'll see holdables that are heavy, which are basically just reskins of Theo. Now if you've played Base Celeste, you probably already know how Theo works, but one thing that's important to mention is that Theo cannot die to spikes. He can, however, die to bottomless pits. Last but not least, you can actually maintain your momentum with Theo if you dash into him. This means that even though your dash might have ended, technically you'll still get a boost and carry your momentum slash speed when you're grabbing Theo. I'll slow it down for you because it's kind of hard to explain without actually seeing it, but it's not too difficult to understand. You can also wall jump with Theo. You can perform, actually, we'll get into this later, but a lot of different maneuvers that you wouldn't think you could actually do while holding something, but you can actually do a lot of movement tech with Theo. And that's all the beginner tech. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any sort of tips for me, uh, things that you want me to explain or go over, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in another tech tutorial video.